Hi guys, hope you're all well. Now today we have the absolute pleasure of playing Faster Than Light. Some of you may have already seen this, it has received quite a lot of press. It's developed by Subset Games, which is a two-man team who are both former developers of 2K games, who you may or may not know were the creators of Bioshock and more recently XCOM. Now the aim of the game is to return some intercepted rebel data to the Federation fleet, but in order to do so we have to traverse the universe whilst being pursued by the rebel armada. So here we are, starting off in our hangar bay with the ship, currently named the Kestrel. I'll just give that something a little bit more appropriate, the woo-woo. And we can rename our crew members as well. So I think Kara, Liam, and I'll quickly change, there we go, I'm a man, so I'll do that. And my second in command will be my good friend Neil. And finally, another friend, Ian, who goes by the handle Creaky. There we go. And I think we are ready to fly. So let's get this data back to the Federation fleet. The, gate, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Fire. If fire is spreading, consider opening airlocks and doors to vent oxygen from parts of your ship. Fire is quickly extinguished without O2. Okay. So here we are, in space. You can see around us we've got this energy field, which acts as the shield. And we're here in the cockpit. I'm at the helm, currently dibbling away on this computer console. And as you can see, some of these other rooms have computer consoles in them as well. And now where these systems rooms have computer consoles, it means that crew members can staff them and they can learn to become more efficient with those systems. So for instance, I'm saying, sending Creaky here into the weapons bay. And when I power this room, you just saw the Artemis and the burst laser come out. He is now typing away and on here you can see that he has different levels for the weapons and as we encounter more enemy ships then he will level up and he will become more effective when fighting by aiming better and having more hits on target and Neil I'm gonna send to this room which is the shield room which means that he is also going to be leveling up as we go along enabling oh, there it is enabling him to get the shields back up online and working when they are taken fire from enemy ships but right now I think we are ready for our first jump so let's go where's the exits over there okay we've got time before the rebels come after us so we're going to take kind of a long way round, and this is still the first area, so hopefully the enemies won't be too difficult to beat. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Ugh, not a chance. They don't have... oh, they do have bots, but they're not powered. No, we're going to attack them, we're going to reject their offer. Too bad, you will regret this decision. Highly doubt it, my friend. So I'll quickly pause it. Okay, they do have everything powered up, and they've got an enemy combat drone. So they're going to be firing at our shields constantly. But they're weak enough so that I think I can send my missile, which pierces through their shields, directly at their shield. And then once their shield's down, I'm going to hit their weapons array with my burst laser. And then they're going to be dead in the water. So let's target that. Oh, and that's really weak as well. It can't do anything. A direct hit. And they're dead in the water. That's, that's quite a good deal. I'm not going to accept, though. I'm going to continue with the burst laser. Oh, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Now we can put these out by opening up the doors, which will starve it of oxygen. And there we go, we destroyed their ship. Okay, didn't get quite as many missiles as the offer. 
but we did get more scrap, and we can purchase more missiles than four with that scrap, so, okay, that, that, that's a fair enough trade. Let's just wait for these fires to go out. Only one damage to our hull. So I think we did pretty well there. Is everything... Yep, yeah, everything's fine. And on to the next location. Ooh, a distress call. Let's go here. You follow the distress, distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find small ships struggling to manoeuvre through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last. Uh, I think we're going to help them. Oh dear, the ship's sustained some damage. Oh, we've got some good scrap. Okay, that was a good deal. Everybody seems okay. So we're again ready to jump to the next location. Go down here this time. Oh, this is pretty. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. It's these bastards again, and they we already know how badly they did against us last time. So, once again, we're going to absolutely destroy them. Oh, he got our shields down in one shot. And they're dead in the water again. I do like that number of missiles. Missiles tend to be about six pieces of scrap. This is scrap. These are the number of missiles we've got. And missiles are very valuable in terms of when you need them least. Oh, sorry, when you need them most, that's when you have the least of them for some reason. So I think we are going to accept this deal. And we'll let them go on their way. Are we damaged anywhere? No, we're good. Okay. Let's jump to the next location. Where can we go? Let's go... If we went there, can I go back up there? Go here. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care, but this is the right place to come for, so, uh, for some ship repair. Repair damage for 40 scrap. I... I think that's like that seems like a fair trade. So I'll spend 10 scrap to get 5 of these bars back. There we go. No refunds. Let's go to the next location. Oh, distress. Shall I go all the way down there? Yeah, let's go down there. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest uh, depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Yeah, not a problem. Take this bit of scrap as down payment. We'll use, uh, we'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Excellent. Hopefully it's not too far away. And if it is too far away, then pff, at least we've got 14 scrap for doing nothing. Oh, up there! Not a chance! Not a chance, my friend! Let's pop over to here. There is a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have any extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. No, I don't want to... That's, those are bad deals. I'm not... I'm just going to ignore you. We'll jump to the next place. How's my fuel? I could really do with some fuel. You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons got hot. Okay, looks like they've got they've got quite a lot of things on board their ship, but we can still take them down. Still only one shield, and just the two weapons. So let's continue. Another drone! There's so many drones! Okay, target the shields. Oh, goodness, it's, it's only weak. It's fine. Direct hit. Let's take out their weapons. We don't use the Artemis again. We'll just keep on peppering them. Let's hope to get three strikes. Let's go for the weapons again. Make sure they stay offline. And they're down. 
Oh good, we got some fuel back. Some fuel back. Unfortunately, we can't pick that up. It would have been nice to receive that as scrap and add some to our drone parts here. But I don't particularly like using drones. But it still would have been good to sell at some point. So let's jump to the next location. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves in to attack. Turn and fight. Yep, again, it's, it's a weak, it's a weak ship. So same routine. And the asteroids here will help us as well because, as you can see, they're taking out their shields. Direct hit, and we'll send the burst laser in to take out. Oh dear! Oh no! I wasn't expecting to miss so many times. Let's take out its drive. Augment. Automated reloader. Uh, I'm not going to accept your surrender because you were lying in wait. You're scum. So let's take out its drives. Let's see what we get. One missile. Good. I like having a missile. And lots of scrap as well. That's, that's, that was fair. It's better than nothing. It's just waiting for the FTL drive to power up here. And we're ready to jump. So we'll go here, then down there, before the rebels catch up to us. Oh, look at all these locations which they've taken over. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. I'm going to send an away party, but... Oh, please don't die. Oh, thank goodness. You find a small cache of supplies that were surely left for any loyal Federation ships in trouble. You take all that you need, leaving some for others to find. Two missiles, one drone parts, 28 scrap. That's a really good haul. Really good haul. And we're jumping to the exit. Gonna need to find some fuel. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL, the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Despite the barren area, Trader has set up shop at this beacon. He presents the offer. Five fuel for four missiles. I'm not that desperate for fuel. I'm not that desperate. Okay, let's jump to the next sector. Which place should we go to? So the red bits are hostile. The green bits are more friendly, I suppose. So, numbers-wise, I think we're going to have to go with the Mantis... Mantis Blubber, Mantis Controlled Sector. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. 